Hi, welcome to my um, channel, Uncle Matt. It's been almost a year since I've done a uh, video on my YouTube channel, and a lot of people actually have emailed me saying, hey, are you gonna be doing any more videos? And this has been a lot of emails in the last several months. Um, I've been back and forth um, in the United States uh, with my girlfriend, Monsi. Um, she spent some time with me up in Wisconsin for about four months. Uh, um, the warm winter it was this year up there. <laughs> but anyways, we're in Los Barros Park in Central Jalapa. It's a really nice park. And right behind me, this used to be a church. Um, I don't know the full history of that, but my girlfriend knows the history of um, Jalapa and a lot of interesting things. And so basically with this video, I just want to go over some of the um, COVID or post-COVID, I guess you can call it. Um, here, mask mandates are still in place inside businesses, taxi cabs, uh, transportation. Uh, outside, they're not as strict on that. Uh, but I would say maybe half the people here do. It seemed like in Mexico City, a lot more people wore masks outside. Um, some people even wear a mask while they're driving. and don't understand that, but that's between them. And they can do whatever they want. Um, have um, price, people have asked me if prices have increased here in Mexico, and I would have to say yes, but not as vast as the United States. The, um, I guess one of the things that have actually stayed pretty steady down here is um, gas prices have stayed, um, I don't wanna say stayed the same, it has gone up a little bit, but not like a lot of other areas of the world. The, um, uh, food prices have gone up, not as much as the United States. In fact, I think grocery store prices have gone up much higher than regular restaurants down here. You can still eat rather cheap. And one of the one of the things I really do like about Jalapa, food is rather inexpensive, like the street foods and stuff. And we'll be talking more about that later in this um, video, but I just wanted to uh, um, show you a little bit of this park. A lot of trees, I know it's nighttime out. It's a really safe area. Uh, we had to do laundry today, so that's part of the reason why we're down here. We drop off a lawn, we drop off our clothes at a laundromat, or a guy that does laundry. We pick it up in two days. We do have a washer at home that doesn't work anymore, so we can't. Um, that's just what um, we have to do now. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this short video that we're going to do, and we're going to show you some other parts of Jalapa to see how busy they're doing. So it's about 9 o'clock at night and we're just going to go walking. I guess if you can see in the far background, you probably can't. You can't. There's a church we're walking up to. There we go. It's closer than what it looks. But anyways, yeah, we're leaving the park. And it's a really nice kids playground. And usually in the daytime, there's a lot of um, vendors that are in the park. So the streets, as you can see, except for the one we're going on, are very, very narrow. That's kind of like a shuttle bus. I don't know how much a bus is cost. It's probably like five pesos, maybe. Ten. Ten pesos, which is like 50 cents. Um, yeah, this is also a very nice cobblestone. A lot of streets in Jalapa, these narrow ones, are of the cobblestone type. The population of Jalapa, it's, I don't have the exact numbers. I want to say like 450,000, but I've seen figures as high as 900,000 metro. And I'm not exactly sure what that all covers. This would be considered a large city in the United States, but a small city in Mexico. So here's another side street. I absolutely do like these um, cobblestone, cobblestone road, cobblestone sidewalk.
To the left? Right. Oh, we're going to cross to the right? Coming to the left. Okay. Um, this is uh, another narrow road. It's a little bit wider than some of the others. Uh, and not as steep of a hill. A lot of these streets in central Jalapa and just surrounding Jalapa can be very steep. Buenas. Okay. This yeah, this is uh, one of very many coffee shops, and there's a lot of coffee shops in Jalapa. Uh, my favorite coffee shop is uh, Starbucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. But there's actually two Starbucks in, in this town. One's really busy, the other one I'm not so sure. But right across there, that, not the Diego sign, but right across right there is the Mexican or the Jalapa post office. So if I were to send a letter to the United States without using UPS, FedEx, or DHL, go through the post office, and it might eventually get to the U.S. anywhere from maybe two weeks to two months. <laughs> so not extremely reliable. We're going to take a nice um, walk this way. This is a nice... Um, narrow street um, there's a lot of hotels also in Jalapa and, and your average hotel would probably be right around 20 US dollars uh, maybe a little bit more um, hostels were a lot less cheaper uh, the Holiday Inn here is I think only like 50 55 bucks So now um, we are going up to, all the ch churches are really super nice looking. I would have to say just in my opinion, the Catholic church services here are much more conservative than they are in the United States. almost feel like a little like San Francisco here being parked in the sidewalk. Huh. You'll see steps like this all over um, Jalapa. Sometimes they're just not this wide. In fact, almost always are never this wide. As you can see, a uh, busy street and narrow. And this is a really nice, another nice view. Do we know the name of this church? Um, no, but it's a Catholic church. San Jose. <laughs> oh, San Jose. All right. Okay, so now 
Hey, Sears. And now we're actually in Central, which is actually downtown Jalapa. Waiting for the light. All right. Did I hear horses? Yeah, we got some horses behind us. Uh, this uh, part of uh, downtown Jalapa or central Jalapa is um, very busy during the day. Uh, traffic can be kind of eh, because the roads are so narrow. There is a lot of nice um, shops, uh, food places. Probably a little bit, uh, a little bit pricier than some of the others in the outskirts of town. We've ate a few. We ate at a few of these places, and the food here in um, Jalapa is excellent. Many say that it's some of the best food in Mexico. Others will argue Oaxaca. This is interesting. Santander is a bank, and they're also in San Diego. We're going to be headed off to the um, to the park here in a moment. So there is a lot of nice um, paintings and murals here. This is a government state building. So now this is the um, the park. I keep forgetting the name of this park. Juarez. Yeah, Juarez Park. And um, downtown park. Yeah, it's downtown Central Park. It's really nice. A lot, of, a lot of vendors are shut down right now, but some are still open. We are going to try to, I guess, eat a pancake for five, 50 cents. I don't know how much they are. All the snacks and street food here are really inexpensive. A few weeks ago, we actually met a guy who was from, I think, Michigan. And his um, girlfriend that he was with was from the state of Pueblo. Well, I guess we have another government building here um, all lit up. Oh, this is a city building. Okay, my fault. and a ton of people down there. I wonder if today is a bicycle day. <laughs> it looks like a race. It kind of look, does look like a race. <laughs> As I'm recording this, it is about 10 o'clock at night, so there's not a whole lot of people out here, but it's still pretty decent. I think this place sells pancakes here, but we're just going to go get a quick city view.
This is not the greatest vantage point of the city, but you can still see a lot of areas. We are now going to go try to see what these pancakes are like. So we are at a um, vendor. We're going to get some pancakes. Three for 22 pesos would be about three for a dollar ten. You could pay $22 in the U.S. for that. But we're going to get some of these other interesting pancakes. Or they call them pot cakes. You So here's our pancakes that we got for 30 pesos. We got um, the special ones. This is a pancake with Nutella, and this is a uh, pancake with Philadelphia cream cheese and blueberries, we, which is about a dollar fifty. Really inexpensive. Total. Yeah, total. We are actually going to be headed back home now. Um, so I absolutely love this town. This is how you spell the town. All cities are have colorful signs like this all throughout Mexico. So, yep. The weekends get extremely busy here for the nightlife and the university is not that far away. I'm just going to give you guys one more view of some of these streets here. These um, taxis here usually don't cost more than uh, $3 um, to go anywhere in, in this town. Sometimes a little bit more, but generally 3 maybe 4 is about the max. Never been on a city bus. My girlfriend says they're all filthy. They're all really super dirty, so. Anyways, well, I just want to thank you guys. Thank everybody who was able to um, view this video. This is an updated um, video on Jalapa, and hopefully we will be doing more in the future. Um, please um, hit that like button and share and tell your friends that they want to see what Jalapa is all about. I know there's others that have videos, um, I think this is like my ninth one, eighth one, I don't know, somewhere in there. Anyways, everybody stay safe, and so long from Jalapa.